no, oh no. Oh, Yamiko. Oh my God, he's clapping at it. He's so evil, he's twitching. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. So I've babysat the baby in yellow about three times now. The last time being when a huge update came to the game that made the baby in yellow terrifying. And you guys loved that video. And I miss babysitting the baby in yellow, but there's no new updates. So I took it upon myself to create the baby in yellow in The Sims 4. Here we go, we're entering. Oh my God, there he is. Looking terrified that I am once again babysitting him. But yeah, took a couple hours, but I built this as close as I possibly could in The Sims to the game. Look at it and look at all my hard work. Here's the other side. I'll give you guys a tour. We have, of course, the demon baby in yellow, the little dining area. Here's our TV area, our toy box, the entryway. And then if you come this way through this door, it's the bathroom. And there is no changing table in The Sims, which I never realized until right now. So this one kind of looks like a changing table and all the windows you can't see out of. Back out to the living room. We go here. I even put in the tiny basketball hoop that you can throw your baby through. And then through this door is the kitchen. Completely complete with teal appliances. I actually love the way this came out. And then if you go back to the living room and you turn this way and go up the stairs to the sky, apparently, there's the upstairs hallway, which the first room is the parents' bedroom. The second room has been many different things, I feel like. But in one of the updates, it was an office space, which I like because there's no computer in this house otherwise. And then if you come out and you go to the last room, it's of course the baby in yellow's nursery and there's no crib. So this is all I had. And, uh, uh, I tried to put the mobile, but the ceiling's really high. It's there though. I worked with what I had because I put it in the apartment complex. As you can see, it is in an apartment complex, which in the game, it's in an apartment complex or a hotel. So I was trying to stay true to that, but I had some limitations. And if that wasn't enough, we have an evil bonus room, just like in the new update. If you use the elevator and go down, you will find yourself in a demon's lair. Fully equipped with lava rock, alligators, swimming in a pool of lava, or no blood. Alligators swimming in a pool of blood. Yes, and then, oh, you guys didn't get the full effect. I gotta light all the fires. Hold on. Yes, yes. Fire, you now have the full effect. This is his demon lair. And here's me coming to babysit and not looking very happy about it because I know he's a demon because I've done this three other times so far. We're going for a fourth. Now you may be wondering, Lauren, how do you babysit the baby in yellow in The Sims? Well, I gave myself a goal. In order for the baby to not kill me, Lauren's a hot mess, is sweaty and miserable. Good, because you just ruined what I was saying. In order for the baby in yellow to not kill me, I need to feed him 10 souls of like other sims that i find and invite down to the demon pit that's my goal that's how i'm gonna babysit him keep him happy keep him fed with souls you know i mean i guess i also need to feed him regular milk and change his diapers because i do that in the game and i have to do it or else he'll die in the sims oh god he's wandering around baby what's in the tv there's nothing on it what are you staring at the black void he's so creepy and if you didn't think he was creepy enough look at him i gave him special demon abilities in the sims deadly toddlers great <laughs> Oh, he's already ruining things. Lauren's already running away from responsibility and playing games. And the baby in yellow doesn't like that. Oh yeah, he can teleport too. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> like the demon he is. Now what's he doing? Oh great, he's conjuring a fire. Lauren is still not paying attention. Oh there, finally got her attention. <laughs> and now she's terrified of him. <laughs> Sounds about right. Lauren, go collect souls for him. All right, let's go downstairs and try to find somebody. Run away from toddler. I'm having you run away from toddler. Oh, we apparently know somebody. Yeah, let's just invite her over. Quick, what's he doing? Oh, he's playing. He's fine. Yumiko will be right over. Perfect. Oh, is that an evil laugh? She's like, I'm on board now. I'm saving myself. Oh, there she is. Yumiko, welcome. Oh, she's coming in. Perfect. Teleport down here, baby. Oh, and there he is. Oh, that's what he's doing. Oh, oh no, she noticed. Ah, she's running away. No, we gotta get her. That's such a creepy smile. He has like four teeth. Oh God. Oh, he's so creepy. Oh, what are you doing? Oh man, all the fires went out. Don't worry. Baby in yellow knows how to set the fires. Oh, it got so dark. Oh no, oh no. Oh, Yamiko. 
If he just wanders off, he's like, all right, bye. Oh my God, he's clapping at it. He's a demon. What's wrong with his eye? He's like, yes, please, come on. I need your soul. I need to collect your soul, please. He's so evil. He's twitching. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I feel like this is even scarier than the actual game. Yamiko, just give in. Also, there's a pool right next to you. Like, even if it's a pool of blood, jump in the pool. It would most likely save you. What's going on? Oh, okay. Okay, soul number one. We did it. He is pleased. Baby in yellow is pleased. Look at him. He's happy. He's pleased. Oh God. He's twitching. He's okay. Good job, baby. Lauren's just laying in bed feeling flirty. Ooh, good. Go find a guy to bring back. Or better yet, let's just exhaust our easy options. I'm sure she's getting hungry too. Let's get pizza. And then we can offer up the pizza delivery man. And I don't have to go anywhere. All right. So the baby in yellow's inventory has one soul. Perfect. Nine more to go. Oh, pizza delivery guy's here. Thank you, pizza delivery guy. Would you like to come downstairs and meet my baby? Of course you would. He's like, wait a minute. How did I just get teleported down here? And why is the Grim Reaper toasting marshmallows? Where's the baby? Oh my God, there he is. Oh, he's trying to run away. You can't run. Uh, he just got sucked into the pool of blood while I was trying to steal his soul. Did it count? <laughs> I don't think it counted because I don't have I don't have anything to show for it. Okay, so note to self: don't let anybody swim in the pool of blood. It just sucks them into an abyss. Crap, well, at least we got a pizza. All right, I think I just need to go out, meet a bunch of people, and then invite them all over at once for a party. I think that'll be the best thing to do. The most time-efficient thing to do. Baby has been sent to daycare. Oh, God. <laughs> Good luck, daycare. All right, let's talk to this guy. Let's just do a flirty introduction to everybody. <laughs> Everybody's getting a flirty introduction. It's just that kind of night. Oh, my God, so many souls. I mean, people. All right, do we have at least nine, four, eight? Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, there's the pizza guy. All right, let's go home and deal with whoever the baby killed at daycare. He's just waiting down here like, um, where's the rest of my souls? They're coming, baby. Let's plan a party at 6 a.m. People love 6 a.m. parties. Plan a social event. Spooky parties, sure. Everybody. Sure, let's invite a caterer. That's an extra soul. And a mixologist. That's an extra soul. Oh, look at me. I'm a death fairy. <laughs> this is adorable. I forgot because it's a spooky party. Everybody's dressing up. Yes, here comes everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes. Somebody dressed as Darth Vader. Teleporting one person down to the death chamber. There she is. Oh, there goes her soul. Oh, her soul. Oh, there it is. Oh, the baby's happy. Oh, well, this is awkward. Oh, the baby's not happy about this glitch. It's fine, baby. You got her soul. You got her soul, okay? Ah, the caterer. Oh, she's scared. She got teleported down here. She keeps running away from him. <laughs> he just keeps teleporting. Let's see what happens to her. He's looking up. Why is he looking up? That's why. <laughs> ah, baby Neil is like, that's a close one. Good thing I know how to go through walls and objects. Oh my God, the song playing is hilarious. R.I.P. Caterer, soul number three. Technically four, but we'll say three because I don't know what happened to the pizza delivery guy still. The alligator's got his soul, not me. Not me for the baby. All right, we got a new guy. He notices the baby and is scared. Yeah, there's nowhere to go. All right, what's gonna happen to this guy now? Oh God, he was sucked straight down to hell. Oh no, does that mean we not get his soul? Oh, wait, never mind. Good. We still got a soul. Sweet. Yes. He's like, yes, Lauren, you're doing well. Yes. <laughs> Send somebody else down, please. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. Thank you. Soul, please. Oh, baby's using his mind powers. Baby, how long are you gonna use your mind powers for? Baby. Baby, this is taking forever. I mean, I guess I'll bring the next person to... Okay, there we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, that's not good. Lauren, who else you got? Ah, uh, somebody dressed as Boba Fett. Perfect. There we go. Glitching my way over. He's scared. Good. Take this soul. Goodbye, sir. Explosions are fun. And he's just walking away. Ah, 
she got sucked into the black dark abyss this time. Baby, go collect your soul. It's right there. Oh, you got two souls. Boba Fett's soul and this person's soul. We need three more. Get them all at the same time for a big finale. There's one. No. They're coming soon. Maybe you should think twice about opening the door. <gasps> Mysterious. Are these the white rabbit people? You just got pranked. Who was that? This girl? I'm inviting her over. She'll be right over. Perfect. You're my last victim. There we go. There's two. There we go. There's your last three victims, baby. Do what you want. All right. How oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. The baby opened up the sky on that one. Where's the other two? They're talking. She's like, oh, thank God, the car missed me. It's a miracle. That's crazy. How did a car get up here? I mean, we're so high up in the air. Probably would have made more sense if it was something like, I don't know, a helicopter? Oh, yeah, like that. Thank ya. Thank ya. And thank ya. Ten souls. You have pleased me, Lauren. You will live. Why is there? What have you been doing up here, Lauren? Oh, God. What have you been doing? Somebody made food and didn't eat it. She's like, great. Thank you. So glad. Where's she going? Oh, she's crying. Great. You know, from all the people that she brought to their deaths for her own life. I understand. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's all happy. Oh, wait. No, he's not happy. Why are you still not happy? I'm um, changing his diaper. <laughs> oh, what a happy ending, kind of. <laughs> there you go, baby. Here's your bottle. He's still not happy. You're never happy. All right, guys. Well, that's it for the baby in yellow in The Sims 4. Let me know if there's anything else I should recreate in The Sims 4. No matter how crazy or weird it is, you know I will do it. This video is proof. And in the meantime, if you're looking for something else to watch, why not check out one of these videos popping up right now before the baby in yellow steals your soul? The only way to prevent him from stealing your soul is to make sure you leave a like on this video and also subscribe if you haven't. The button is showing up as well. Lauren, what are you doing? Oh, there you go. And as always, I will see you guys soon.